This video is sponsored by the wonderful Squarespace and I'm gonna be showing you a peek at our wedding website later on. First off, number one, I'm hoping that you don't hear too much noise, but one of our neighbours is building a swimming pool come gym, come pool house complex in their garden, and that's happening at the moment, so hopefully you don't hear too much of that noise in the background. Number two, I don't really wear glasses, but I'm wearing my glasses today because I have a sty on my eye, first sty ever, and it's not the prettiest thing. So I'm trying to, trying to disguise them with this, really. It's just an excuse so that if, if this little project that I'm doing goes totally wrong, I can be like, well, I, I couldn't see I had a bad eye. So anyway, now that that's out of the way, today we're gonna deck the dining room. It's one of my favorite rooms to do. I love doing it really romantic and magical and full of lights and sparkly things. We actually did do a little bit the other day because the dining room was the room that we dumped all of our Christmas decorations in and I just had to get the tree up and out the way. So I will insert that now and then we're gonna get on with making some crackers. actually looks worse on camera and I think my glasses magnify it but I'm going with it now. You'll have just seen I got out my sewing machine but don't fear, I don't think you need to show it to sewing machine. I did study textiles at university but it was one of those funny things where everybody thinks well you study textiles, can you sew in a zip or can you put on my button? It's like oh, no we didn't really do that, it's much more about like print and pattern and I studied um, woven design so knowing how to work loom and that kind of thing but I do know the very basics. Anyway, you should be able to do this by hand. I'm afraid probably not great for you guys, but when I do creative projects, I hate looking up how to do them first. So I haven't actually looked up how to make a cracker with fabric. I'm just gonna wing it. No doubt there may be a better way to do this online, but I always find I'm most creative and I come out with the, the best things when I don't look it up. So. Please do say below if you would have done this differently, how you do it, if you have done it, or if you've watched a professional do it to help people out. But I've got for my base, this is like wrapping paper tubing. I presume you could also use loo roll or kitchen towel um, tubes, but this is actually quite strong. It's like not flimsy like loo roll, which is something that I wanted. I'm gonna use these as like a backing lining fabric, I think, and then these are my top fabrics. So these are gonna be hopefully my actual crackers. I got these off of Etsy. I wanted something a bit different. I wanted a block print. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do different. I'm laying the table for six, so I don't know if I'm gonna do two of each of these or more of one. I'm gonna decide. I've got my little fillers here, some lovely little treats to be able to pop in, hand creams. Um, shower oils, soaps, lovely bits like that. And then I also really want to put some ribbon or kind of maybe these kind of pieces. I thought that these could look lovely, maybe edged around some of the crackers or maybe doing something that is a bit more of a contrast in colour would be really nice too. That looks gorgeous with that one. But that's the fun bit. That's And now I just need to figure out how I'm going to put this together. I also like to guess measurements completely. So I'm gonna start with cutting one of these so I know what size to cut my fabric. I'm thinking I'm gonna make it this tool, the body of the cracker, which is actually maybe a little bit big, but I want to fit these two in. I'm gonna cut it and see how terrible it looks. If it looks too long, I might end up cutting it down slightly, but I think, why not? You can go bespoke. These are handmade. the most beautiful cut but also not bad for a base and now again I'm gonna guess what kind of amount of fabric I need it shouldn't actually be too much 
but I'm gonna do a good bit extra and probably a little bit extra at the size. I don't think that size, does it look a bit ridiculous? Maybe, maybe it needs to be a little bit smaller. Slightly smaller. And I'm done. I'm joking. I've literally just wrapped that around the tube and popped on the ribbons so that I can get an idea of the size. I do think it's probably a little bit long in the body. I'm working out the body right now. Obviously these are a bit long. They'd, they'd be wanting to come to a bit here. So sorry, sorry friends and family, less presents, but I think I'm gonna shorten it down to about here. Next year I might upgrade my tubing and try and find some that's a little bit bigger because feel like definitely loo roll, this is bigger than a loo roll and I think that would be far too small. It's just a little bit of a heads up on that. But yeah, I'm gonna unravel this, make it a bit smaller and then cut down the sides. if you're a really big crafter yeah it is really just the way I work with measurements and stuff now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my fabric if you are wanting your crackers to be more stiff or firm then you might want to like interface the fabric or something like that of course I'm not gonna do that I am just gonna cut a piece of this exactly the same size to this one and sew them together because you'll have seen them when we do DIY. With an opening packages, they are sadly not just used for fabric anymore. While I mull over the next step and have a little hot chocolate break I thought as promised I would show you a little sneak peek of our wedding website which is powered by the wonderful Squarespace so many of you all know I've been working with them over the last year or so now and I've had my personal work like my online work website with them which I absolutely love I really love being able to just take control of my website so when we decided that we were gonna have a wedding website for all of our guests it was just a no-brainer that we also did it with Squarespace so I'm sure you all already know, but Squarespace is the all-in-one website building platform. Now they have thousands of templates to choose from. Now I didn't actually realize that they also had wedding templates and I was so thrilled when I found them. So Ollie and I have actually personally paid for this website through our wedding fund, so you genuinely know that this is something that we have chosen for ourselves. I really do just love the system and how it works. And personally, I think it looks really professional. I'm gonna have to blur out some details because obviously I don't wanna give too much away about our wedding day. But I thought that it turned out really well. We've done all of this ourselves. So you land on our homepage and you have a little bit of information down the bottom, which I'm not gonna to scroll to because that gives all of the information for our wedding day, times and dates and when to be there. But because we're having a destination wedding, we will also put in details of where to stay, uh, what to do. So we've done a cute little blog post. We're getting married in Lake Como. So given suggestions of what people can do, hopefully whilst they're there, if they make it into a bit of a trip and a holiday, and also where to eat, which we're gonna be doing soon. But probably one of my favorite things about this website is that you can pop in RSVP buttons. <laughs> We've got them everywhere. We've linked them to our invitations. And it just means that we can really easily keep in touch with people. We're actually having a wedding where we have something before the wedding day and something after. And we've been able to say, are you gonna be attending the welcome meal or just the wedding day or the trip afterwards as well? It just makes it really easy and pops it in one place. And it's been really nice because we've been able to link the style to hopefully how our wedding day is gonna feel, match it to the color tones and elements that we will have for the day. Now obviously they don't just have a wedding websites. As I mentioned, I have my personal business website through them, but you can literally create a website for everything. They have templates to suit anybody I couldn't recommend it highly enough and if you did want to check it out they do a free trial which is amazing we could literally drop in all of our photos see how it looked imagine what it was going to be like to be able to send out our wedding website and then when you're ready to go live you can use my link which I will pop here which gives you 10% off your first domain or website 
And we also secured our domain from them too, which was nice so we can keep it all in one place. And honestly, we've been so busy that we have been neglecting the wedding. So it was really nice that one part of it was just all within our control and we could get it done really quickly and efficiently and easily, unlike probably how the crackers are gonna go for the rest of today. But yeah, I better get on cracking. Better get cracking with them. Oh no. I need the sewing box. It's in one of these. This is our mattress. Got it. I may have made quite the mess in the process. Okay, it's much later and I've done one cracker. I'm gonna be honest, it took a little bit longer than I expected because I wasn't quite knowing what I wanted to do, but I'll explain. So, you would have seen I cut the patterned fabric and I also did some lining fabric. I kind of wanted them to feel a little bit thicker, that's why I put a lining in. Now, I ended up halving the size, so I think this is about 20 centimeters, and then you're just going to want to do this however big you have your inner. You may want to do different tubes, I'm not quite sure, plastic, whatever you can find. And then on the sewing machine, but I think you could always do this in my hand, I just did a stitch around each of the edges and then with this, you can literally just flip it inside out. So you can see there you've got both sides. And then what I did is I just turned this in much neater than this. And then I just hand stitched along that edge there. Then once that was done, I literally just popped one of these in the middle. <laughs> I did measure this part. And then rolled it up, and then I hand stitched along the edge, which you'll be able to see. Can you see it there? Hand stitched along that edge. And then I literally slipped the products in. This is obviously all closed off, but you can see it in there. And then put the bow on the edges and turned up the edges. But that one cracker has taken me all morning. I think it's a job to do. Now that these are cut, it's a job to do in the evening in front of the TV, just sewing them up. And obviously you can use these now year after year. They don't pop. I'm pretty sure you can get ones that like Velcro in the middle or something so you can make them pop. Um, we've not got any children in the family, so we're fine with this right now. But I'm gonna get on with the table decorating because I think I'll do these later. Something's tugging at my sleeve I do believe it's Christmas It's cold outside but I'm warm within Cause Christmas time is here Upon a long ago, the Bethlehem star must 
must have shown the way that led you to me. Now from my love and a little help from above, we've raised our little clan like it's part of a master plan. Still when Christmas has gone. just moved this little table over here. Ignore this, this one still needs painting. So the table is just over here and this table used to be where the tree was. Now I think I'm gonna hang these stars on the wall because it looks a little bit sad. So I'm just using little teeny tiny command hooks. It really is glowing in here now. And I have my little helper. Oh. oh no, <laughs> kind of terrible but great. We're not sure if this is going to be too much. It's going to be one of those things, it's either going to be great or it's going to be terrible. The plan is to string them up here. To be honest, there isn't many of them so it's only going to be two. We need three pins, so they're going to just like be like a triangle up there basically. Uh, partly because uh, we're also going to have a run up the wall because there's not enough wire at the end, like it goes straight into lights. But let's see how this goes. Right, where do you want it? need that head torch in here. Yeah, you're, it's really helpful actually. <laughs> Keeps my hair up my eyes. <laughs> it's a great hammer as well. Yeah, it's a problem having the uh, tool bag under the shed. <laughs> Keep forgetting things. We're screwing in little teeny tiny hooks. I said, Ollie, mm, don't mind that red thing. What did you say? I can paint it. <laughs> no, you said, God, you're fussy. I said that as well. <laughs> Ollie is also painting our radiator. This is like third coat to try and blend it into the wall a bit. So hot. Yeah. It's another day. I have been up this morning and I've painted another coat on the door 
and then they coat on the radiator and they're finished, which means I can do the finishing touches. I have a sparkly top on underneath, so if I get changed quite a few times throughout the next few clips, that's because I'm wanting to take some photos today also. So I'm gonna get the tripod out, but it's feeling super festive and cozy in here. which some of you will have maybe noticed this is the tree that was in our living room last year so we wanted to use it somewhere else and I think it fits perfectly here in the dining room it's a really good height for this room too we've got super high ceilings and I just popped some burgundy elements on it this year with the ribbon which I think really ties in with the color theme but other than that used mostly old baubles and to be honest not too many the table I am thrilled with I just think it looks so cozy, sorry about the floor there. And the nice thing with this is that most of the foliage on it is faux. It can stay for the whole month of December. I don't have to faff or change it over or do anything with it. Most of the bits that are on there are already dried. So like the hydrangea and the eucalyptus and the little berries are just gonna dry out. So all I'll have to do is possibly switch over the candles and maybe if this one gets dirty, swap this one out too. I'm also so happy with how the crackers turned out. I think they look really, really sweet. They've got all their little presents in them and hopefully we'll be able to get these out year after year. Maybe next year I'll update them and do them a little bit better. I loved the idea of potentially putting initials on them for the family. So maybe like a velvet initial in the same color as the ribbon. Something that I thought about quite last minute and would have to be something that I do next year. I've just reused the linen tablecloth that I've had and use year round. I also had these last year, the charger plates, which was from Danelm. Our plates are super old and I'm afraid, I think they were just from Sainsbury's or Ikea. And then the napkins as well, I've um, used two different colors because again, we have these year round and I just wanted to reuse them. I don't wanna buy too much new stuff for Christmas. So I've got like an oat mealy color there and also white and I've just tied them in with the ribbon and these here are little tree decorations. These ones here I got from H&M, which I just think is super fun. The glasses are both from HomeSense. We've had these for a while and I always get comments on them. They always have these in, at least in our store locally to us. They're really inexpensive, but look beautiful. And we also got these wine glasses this year too from HomeSense um, and they came this one as well. I just thought that would be lovely for the festive season. Oops, ruining the table now. Um, so, oh, if you guys didn't notice, the garland is from Balsam Hill, which is the same as I had in the living room over the mantle. And this is what it looks like when it's over a table. So as you can see on ours, it kind of just drapes down beautifully at the edge there. And what else do we have going on? I switched over the candles. I don't know if you noticed halfway through the video. I decided I wanted something lower, so I went for those. And our cutlery is just super, super old. Over the mantle, I decided to go really simple this year. Two reasons, the tree and the garland, to be honest, I think was enough. I think it would be really over the top if I did something also on the mantle. So I just went for these, which are both candles. I got these locally at a garden centre, but I think they sell them on websites like Cox and Cox. You can put these on timer. Again, these aren't going to run out. I can just pop them on. And then I've done little buds. Now these are real flowers. This is again, the only thing that I'll have to swap over. We also celebrate New Year usually in this room. So it'll be really simple for me to just clean these out and put something new in. 
but I really wanted to just put a little something on there and then we've obviously got the fire going and the candles you'll have noticed that we also centered the table in the room a little bit this year so we had a bit of a gap this side we also painted the radiator which has made a world of difference because it hides it and we put the little chest of jewels that would be where the tree is over here and I've just got this little chap who we got in Bruges and we went for my dad's birthday trip and um, some fresh flowers here too and also these sweet trees which match in and these stars which I always put up in here every year to be honest we could probably could do with something on this wall all year round we've got those for now and then our lights over here which this area always seems a bit sad it really does I don't know why it just is a bit of a useless space if I'm really honest if you haven't been watching for a long time we hope to extend this one day so this room was just a temporary makeover and that space is always a little bit misused but we've got the two chairs over there and also this one which I won't even show you but it's got stuff like reno shoes and stuff that we have to have unfortunately still in our house um, but it looks much neater and tidier over here and now we're all ready to host. I'm literally going to be asking everybody around to come and enjoy our dining room. I do wish that I could ask you guys around. Thank you so much for your support and love and encouragement throughout the year. Can't believe that this year is nearly over. My next video will actually be my last, which will be a Christmas home tour. So I will see you guys all then. If you're not already, please do subscribe so that you don't miss it. And I will see you all in the next one.